Hey guys, welcome back to the Bros Films channel, and I am with Palmer Interceptor because he was at my event, I'm pretty sure, and I just saw his name, so I was like, oh, I'll upload him. So I'm with him, he told me to get the B25, we're going on a bombing run, we climbed to 3,000 feet, and I miraculously just land bombs somehow. And he lands his bombs as well, so it was a very successful run, and we did not encounter anything, so we decided to uh, first each other just to try to make it more interesting. And he did pretty good, it was a, it was a pretty good match, I gotta say. So let's start off with an update because I just got the Mac back and it is fixed, I hope, because I was able to record with it, I just hope it doesn't break again. I don't know if it'll be free the next time. So anyways, the quality of this video should be a lot better. As you can see, I added shadows. I don't know if it's cooler or not, or it looks weird, let me know about that. Um, I don't know, I, I think I like it. However, I don't know if it's going to be like a disadvantage to me anyway. Only downside to this is you'll see me typing. Uh, uh, it's, uh, I guess that's alright. So anyways, this is just pretty cool squad formation. Somehow I'm able to keep up with him. Usually I'm not super good at flying bombers. Like, I'm not the best with it. But I, I figured it out. I was worried I was going to go into a stall uh, at some point because we're making some pretty sharp turns and everything. So we'll be flying. We'll climb up to 3,000 and we'll drop the bombs and we'll go from there. Now that we're at 3,000 feet, I'm going to decide to take the front gun because there's no point at really being in like the cockpit when you're just going to go in autopilot anyways and just sit out the rest of it and just wait till someone spots the fleet. So he's actually the one who spots the fleet because I'm, I'm not really good at this, at spotting the fleet. I had no idea where it was. I was just following him the whole time. So yeah, thanks to him, we were able to make a successful run. And this is, a, the B-25 actually looks really cool front gun looks really awesome so I'll just be in the front gun and then I'll eventually take to the the scope and right now that's where he spots it so he's making a sharp turn I'm just cycling through and I miss it and everything but anyways I get to it and I start turning hopefully trying not to lose too much altitude however we didn't really encounter any enemies so it kind of worked out for us if we did it would have been so awesome but I have a feeling uh, one of us wouldn't have made it because <laughs> I mean you'll get torn up pretty fast so here I'm trying to line myself up, and it's really hard to line up yourself in the cockpit, so I switch over to the scope person. I'm just looking for it, but I can like barely see it over there. So I'm trying to like angle myself to where I can drop at least four bombs on the target, because I think that's enough to get the kill, but you're better off with a bit more. So right here I'm just saying, I hope I don't miss, because I always miss. But not this time. This time I got super lucky, and we end up sinking a ship, and then later on a... a we sink, well almost, I almost sink another one, but we win the game, so yeah, kind of spoiled it, and the flak didn't hit any of us surprisingly, like the bombers are just a big target, so right here I'm lining it up, I'm getting really worried, I decided to change targets like super quickly there, because I could see this one better, and I, I had a feeling it was going for the left one anyways, I'm just trying to line up perfectly, because I know it's got to be perfect, now I'm over, I started dropping the bombs, I dropped four, maybe I should have gone with six, but... I thought that board might be enough, so let's see if they go ahead and hit. It takes a while for them to drop down, but we'll see if they hit. And the second I saw that fire, I was like, yes, it worked. And right here, I thought I sunk it, but it was basically like one bomb away from being sunk. Kind of disappointing. And then with his, it looks like a couple of his missed, maybe one hit, I'm not sure. Um, it still does damage if you miss, but not as much, I think, so. I mean, it was a tough bombing run. I don't blame him for missing, because, I mean, I would have I missed, too. I always miss, just for some reason. It's like, whenever I'm recording, I'll either do something really good or really bad. This time, it was really good. And then here, I'm, like, losing a lot of altitude. Probably should have put, like, left rudder or something just to help stabilize my altitude, but. Oh, yeah, I do. I do put left rudder. I do it. Yeah. So now I'm going on sideways here, and I'm like, oh, there's no way I'm going to be able to land this. Or not land this. Yeah, land this. Like, the bomb. Not the plane. I'm not going to land the plane. 
So I hear him cycling, and I know that I gotta act really fast, so I like put right rudder all the way. And that's the key with this thing. I mean, I guess you can go out of out of autopilot, but it's easier just to use the rudder. And here I start dropping the bombs. Oh, looks like he got it. Wow, he got a great hit over there. Wow, that was insane. Wow, he landed all of his bombs. I don't think he's using the 500 pound bombs. He might be using the 100 pound. I'm not too sure. Either way, it was still a great shot. Anyways, my game, for some reason, lagged with that, so I'll get back there. Six ground kills so far. Wow, that's pretty good. That was a good run, man. At least we made it. I mean, not a lot of bombers made it. Did you know that uh, in World War II, I think, I'm not too sure about this, but I'm pretty sure, like, three-fourths of all the pilots that went out didn't come back. I'm not too sure about that. Fact check me. Because... I thought I, I thought I heard that somewhere, I'm not too sure, like, I think it was for bombers, I'm not sure about fighter pilots, but like, that's like a 25% chance of survival. And we beat the odds, guys. We beat the odds. However, we weren't going over Germany, we were going over Japan right there. But still, we beat the odds. I don't know why there's not, like, the, the eastern front part of this game, like, there's Pacific, but there's not, like, a Germany versus the U.S. That'd be something interesting. They need Germany versus the U.S. and Germany versus uh, the Soviet Union. It'd also be pretty cool if they did like Japan and Germany versus all this in realistic. Just to make it cooler. I don't know. So he's gonna go ahead and go into the I think the A6M2. Yeah, he hops into an A6M2 and he's gonna try to take me out. I gave him the option of what he wanted to do and I kind of feel bad for the guy, because this B-25, it's not easy to take out. However, it's very easy for me to take out, because I'll just crash land in the second this thing gets hit. So I'll be like, uh, we're not, we're gonna go over, uh, we're gonna run into the water. Let's, let's put, like, left rudder and see if we can flip it, so maybe it'll stop. And instead of flipping and having it stop, it just blows up. So don't do that. It's not a good way to stop it. If you want to stop it, then, I don't know, just come up with something. Alright, so... I don't know why I just cut back there. Oh uh, yeah, I respawned. Aha! Are you ready for this, man? Are you ready for this? 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 Are you? Look me in the eyes, private, and tell me you're ready for this. Three fourths of us don't come back, and we didn't come out here not to come back. We came to Midway to destroy the Japanese fleet destroy evil. We've worked hard, and we've trained hard, and we're not coming back without victory. <laughs> Cold Red Squad, you've been cleared for takeoff. Roger, we're climbing. We got a zero at 10 o'clock, get on the gun! We didn't come here to die. Not yet. Zero down. We lost aerial on control. Luckily, we still got our rudder. 